Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, and I'm joined by a very special guest today. This is Isabella McCauley. Isabella is a member of the University of Minnesota golf team, and today she's with us because, well, if you haven't yet, first of all, check out the What's in the Bag video. Uh, we go through all the clubs in her bag, and uh, today we wanted to dive a little bit further into Isabella's career, um, her accomplishments as a golfer, and how she got to where she is right now. Um, and really, that's through the game of golf almost, uh, you know, from a very young age. And so, first of all, I we have to kind of talk about some of those accomplishments and where you've gotten to. So, um, if we haven't watched that video yet, you might not know Isabella played in the U.S. Women's Open. So, uh, talk to me a little bit about that experience. Um, I know you had a bunch of your family there. Um, so, what was that like, and how you know? A, how was it? What would it feel like qualifying for it? And then B, just the experience of playing in a major tournament. Yeah, for sure. That's qualifying for the U.S. Open in 2021. Definitely has to be one of my biggest accomplishments to date. And it was just a really, I mean, surreal experience to qualify. I wasn't expecting to. And um, I, it was actually at Somerset Country mm -hmm. Club in Mendota Heights. And I just, I love that golf course. So I was like, oh, yeah. I really want to play in the qualifier. And then I qualified and I was really surprised. But um, it was just a really su surreal experience. And I learned so much that week. Um, being able to play with the professionals and learn from them and just kind of see their mentality on the on the life on the road. Yeah. Their day-to-day -day life experience being a professional was really eye-opening and I just learned a ton in that experience. And then obviously being able to play at like a championship level golf course. Yeah. So just kind of being able to take away so much from that was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, aside from all of maybe your other junior or amateur, you know, accomplishments, victories, um, also, the Minnesota Golf Champions, another uh, impressive win on your resume, um, which for those who don't know, uh, might be viewers outside of the state of Minnesota, mm -hmm. uh, is a tournament that includes both men and women. And yeah. you uh, won that event, which is a very impressive feat. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it was, it was a really cool experience. I, I was actually like the first female to win in history, so that was really mm -hmm. fun. Um, and what some people might not know, it's it's like a lot of people didn't even know women could play in the tournament. So on the first day, I was on the first tee and one of the people in my group was like, looked at the starter and was like, women women can play in this tournament? Like, I didn't even know that. And um, he was he honestly just didn't even know, but it was just really funny because then I kind of, I, I beat him pretty bad. So that, <laughs> yeah. was, that was kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, you ended up winning the tournament, you know. Uh, so that is kind of, I mean, it's clearly, Impressive talent um, and Thank impressive you. work ethic, but I also kind of want to go further into your background mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you know, sure. how golf even started for you and in your life. So uh, explain, because I know I know it. We are kind of in a you know it's a it's a male dominated game, mm -hmm. but um, obviously at a very young age you got interested in golf and took it up, and it became a huge part of your life. So take us back to your early days, how you got into golf, and um, you know how that kind of took off from there. Yeah, absolutely. So my dad actually had a huge love for the game. He used to teach like a very long time ago and doesn't anymore, but um, it kind of was uh, a really like a desire for him to get my sister and I into golf at a young age. And so both her and I started when we were six years old and he just made it really fun for us. He just kind of wanted to have, he wanted, he knew it was kind of not golf wasn't a huge thing for women in sports, especially at that time. Mm -hmm. And, um, but he just knew how fun of a sport it was. And so he got us into it at a young age. He made it very fun for us. Like he would bribe us with candy to get to the <laughs> golf course. He would, honestly, if we had 30 minutes at the course, he, he would spend like 20 minutes of it with just like playing games with us. Yeah. Just to make us have like a good experience with it and like good connotations of coming to the golf course yeah. where you know as a six-year-old you're thinking oh golf course candy like and that's yeah. that's exciting so it was just he made it very fun and enjoyable and so as I got older I got into it a lot more and put a lot more effort into practicing and then um, it kind of just took off from there but I definitely credit my dad for just mm -hmm. getting me started and, and the love for the game right and then moving on from there too I'm sure you may have participated in some other maybe with other organizations or other programs yeah. that uh, increased your interest in, in golf for sure. Yeah, absolutely. One of the biggest ones for me was the Minnesota Junior PGA Golf Association. Uh, I'm I'm very I'm close with some of the people that run that and and Carla Hagen among the other among some of the others and so they're just do a really incredible job of 
um, putting on golf with tournaments, but also just encouraging mm -hmm. juniors in their game, especially girls, and being able to grow that for them. So I really credit them. It made it super fun for me at a young age, and I highly recommend those organizations mm -hmm. to any junior golfers who are thinking about playing in some tournaments in the right. future. Right, and I remember, from in my own sake, I remember helping at, at or well, participating in, but then also helping out run as well the first tee uh, yeah. in my local community as well, which great way for both boys and girls to get involved. In, and like you mentioned early on, uh, bringing the fun into the game when it's, I think, I think what happens often is so many, you know, children, you're introduced to golf by watching on TV and at that age, maybe isn't the most entertaining way <laughs> to see the sport of golf, but yeah. then, you know, you get involved, you play these fun games with it and it be becomes a little bit more, more fun. So uh, talk to me about, about that. Cause we, I did mention it's kind of a male dominated game, mm -hmm. male dominated sport. Mm -hmm. um, so, and we, and we also want to encourage any, uh, women or girls to get into the game because yeah. it is such a fun game For regardless sure. of who you are right so yeah. um, if you, maybe you uh, have some advice or maybe thoughts for um, maybe parents out there that have mm -hmm. daughters to get them into the game of golf what would you say to them yeah you know I like you said it, it is a male dominated sports and I think it's growing a lot in the women's game but um, it obviously can grow a lot more right. and so I think one of the biggest things is to um, make sure you have like it's a really good way to meet friends and mm -hmm. um, I think if you if you're playing with friends and you're making it fun it's gonna be a really good way to get started into the game um, if you're out there and you're a parent and you're considering to get your daughter started but you're just not hundred percent sold on it or something I have three reasons why you should consider playing golf one it's a game you can play your entire life whether you're 5 mm -hmm. 85 you can play golf it's just one of the few sports you can do that two it's the, the relationships that you can make and the people that you can meet will last a lifetime. It's a very social sport. So um, the, one of the ways you can just meet a ton of people through golf and it's a really great way to hang out with friends and socialize with them. Mm -hmm. And finally three, since it's an individual sport, it's really fun to watch your personal progress. Whether Whatever you're putting into golf, you're gonna get out of it. And so it's super satisfying mm -hmm. to watch those scores lower and a lot of improvement being right. made. So Right, yeah, sure. I, I can attest to all those in my own experience too, even mm -hmm. it's just, I, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to another, well, hopefully, God willing, you know, 60 more years <laughs> of playing golf, right? Yeah. And so, uh, and I think one more question I do have for you too, mm -hmm. uh, just on getting more involvement from females in golf yeah. is, what can we do as like, as maybe even males or, or just the general golf industry, what can we do to maybe get more participation from females, whether it be mm -hmm. the junior level, whether it be the amateur level, um, you know, is there anything that we can do or maybe that you suggest uh, on that level? You know, I think one of the biggest things is that you can just, is it's who you're playing with. So for me at a young age, being able to play with other girls my age made it like a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. And so I think continuing, there's a lot of growth in this area too with women's leagues mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That I think really helps. And the more we can do types of women's leagues or women's groups for golf, it makes it a lot more fun, a lot more enjoyable. And the more you improve, the better you're gonna get, the more fun it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. And so I just think that a lot of like encouragement to women's programs like junior girl golf groups is really helpful because once you have friends it's just going to be a sport you're going to love and once you start right. you're not going to you're not going to stop <laughs> absolutely I, I totally agree with yeah. that i totally agree with that and all of us at second swing do so um with that said Isabella, uh i think we want to thank you for coming in first of, of all and we're also going to be following along in your career uh at the university of minnesota very thank excited you. to see what you accomplish on top of what you already have done but um golfers out there uh if you have a daughter, for example, or you're interested in the game as a female, we highly encourage you to get involved, com compete in those leagues, uh, join those programs. Uh, golf, like she said, uh, it's a game that you can participate in and play in forever. Uh, so uh, we, of course, the Second Swing, love the game. It's all of our, a uh, big part of all of our lives. So Isabella, thank you for joining. Uh, really good stuff today. Thank you so much for having me.